the very last night, it was Father's Day in June, and at the end of the night, he thought because it was Father's Day that it would be a great night for sex. And I said no. I wasn't in the mood that night. And um, I backed up against the door. I couldn't leave. But he forgot to pick me up at work. And uh, so a co-worker dropped me off at home, which happened to be a man. And I was in front of the house getting out of the vehicle. And he came home. I went into the room to pack some of my things and he'd come in and when I moved out the way and when I went to get up on the bed and run out he caught me in midair and he was choking me. He grabbed me and dragged me into the house and uh, locked the doors and I knew what was coming. My daughter banged on the door and he opened the door and he threw her into a wall. And he just kept throwing things at the side of my head and the glass would break and it was a mess. And I remember waking up again and I'm in the bathroom and I could hear the police at the back door and they were trying to get in. And he was standing over me with a washcloth trying to wipe up off the blood. <sighs> That's when I screamed. I was so afraid the police were gonna leave. I, it was the first time I ever screamed in all those years of abuse. I was mad at myself because I couldn't find the strength to make stuff like this stop happening. One of the greatest challenges was finding me was finding my self-worth, was going from not being allowed to have friends to finding my place in all of this. You know, there was a lot of resources that help you get out of that situation, which they were all great, but there was nothing there in place to help build me. And I think that's a big part of she deserves is, you know, providing services and providing help and providing other people who understand where you're coming from. And it's a journey, it's hard. But with organizations like She Deserves, I mean, that is so possible. She Deserves is a nonprofit organization that will help abused women to develop confidence and self-worth so they can become independent, self-reliant, and take pride in developing their own security with economic independence. As a single mother, I needed the flexibility of owning my own business, but I realized that you must be confident to be successful as a business owner. Confidence was something I lacked as a broken woman. I needed to rebuild my confidence, which was difficult with no support team. Experiencing this ongoing struggle motivated me to start She Deserves. I knew I couldn't be the only one, and I quickly learned there are so many that currently have the same struggle and we're going to empower these women by providing individual evaluations and analysis, which will identify the strength of each victim. Enroll them in our program that offer a business plan and entrepreneur skill development. Provide an individual support team that will offer encouragement but yet accountability. Provide business grants to individuals that continue to demonstrate growth in their business. Your donation today will sponsor a broken woman that is currently struggling to be confident and independent. It will also pay for the programs she will be utilizing to get to that point and pay for a team to help us with ongoing fundraising to develop and expand our programs to help every broken woman within your community. You can help us by following us on Facebook and supporting our fundraising efforts and charity events. No donation is too small. This epidemic affects one in three women and you can be part of changing those statistics.